Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Let's quickly see what the problem is. Pascal triangle. What the problem says is given a positive integer n, return the nth row of Pascal's triangle. Okay, Pascal's triangle is a triangular array of the binomial coefficients formed by summing of the elements of previous row. The elements can be large. So return it modulo 10 raised to power 9 plus 7. Okay, let's quickly see what the year the example is given, right? We can see here. So what is uh, uh, a Pascal triangle, right? So Pascal triangle is nothing but, for example, at the end, right? For example, uh, Pascal triangle of row 4, right? What will be the Pascal triangle of row 4 will be, right? So at the end of the pyramid, there will be ones. And then at the end of the pyramid, there will be one. So each, uh, each row will be the increment of one of to the previous row okay of increment to the one of previous row so in row number one there will be one element in row number two there will be two element in row number three there will be three elements and this uh, the end of the row will have ones right and what will be the middle element here it will be the addition of this one plus one two right it will be two over here right again n equal to four four row right there will be four elements okay there will be four elements at the end of the row there will be one uh, two ones right and then for middle two rows, for middle two elements, right? So it will be 1 plus 2 equal to 3. 1 plus 2 equal to 3, right? For n equal to 5. For n equal to 5 now. So again, we'll have 1s, right? At both the ends of the row. And then for three elements, right? 1 plus 3 will be 4, right? 3, 3 plus 3 will be 6. 3 plus 1 will be 4. So like this, in each row, there will be the equivalent uh, number of elements for example row 5 will have five elements row 4 will have four elements right so the problem states that the input will be n the nth row we have to return for example the elements of the nth row we have to return for example if the input is n equal to 4 so we have to return the elements at the fourth row okay this is the uh, uh, this is what we want to return okay now let's see how to build for example how to build this right I'll write a small pseudo, right? I'll write a small pseudo and I'll try to explain, right? So what we'll take, we'll take, uh, uh, so the input given will be N, right? As I said, N, N. And uh, what we'll do, we'll take an array. For example, if it is N, right? N is the input. So we'll take an array of, if N equal to four, let's say if N equal to four, so we'll take an array of four, uh, uh, four elements, right? Okay, two, three, four. And let's say if you want to build a Pascal triangle of four rows, right? So, 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 uh, in this array, first we'll insert one to the zero location, right? That this this array will signify this array will signify the Pascal triangle which you are going to build. Okay, so one uh, at the zero location will signify this first first element of the Pascal triangle, right? So what we'll do now? So we took for example we took an array in R equal to new int right of n right and r of 0 equal to 1 right rest all the elements will be 0 first okay so this is our array let's take it over here 1 0 0 0 and let's say our uh, pascal triangle starts from here okay so now now let's say how we are going to iterate this uh, to the array and we are how we are going to build uh, the Pascal triangle, right? So we'll take i equal to zero, we'll go i till n plus plus i, right? And then we'll uh, have a dry run of this code, okay? J equal to i, j greater than zero minus minus j, okay? Now, what it will be? R of j, r of j. See if you see right. If you see, if you see how was the this third row was built, right? This element was built. It was built from the previous two, from the previous from the two elements of the uh, previous row, right? Previous row. So so uh, what the code here will be? R of j equal to r of j plus r of j minus 1. Okay. 
r of j minus 1. So now, now let's see. Let's see our array was this, right? Initially, our array is this, right? Initially, our array is this. And we also have this one, corresponding Pascal triangle. Now, let's say, uh, okay. So I also will start with one year because r of 0 we have already filled. I, r of i will be one year, right? So let's start now. So j will be here. J will be j equal to i, right? J greater than 0 minus minus j. So j will be pointing at one, one location, first location, right? So what it says, r of j equal to r of j plus r of j minus 1. So 1 current r of j is 0, 0 plus r of j minus 1, right? So it is 1. So one, 0 plus 1, it will be 1, right? 0 and 0. So what we have built? We have built the second row, right? The second row. 1 and 1. This 1 and 1 represents this, this one. 0, it was here, 0, right? And this is first row. Since we start with the 0th uh, index, right? 0 index, uh, index 0 index based. But actually, this is second row, right? So we have built this much, right? Now we'll uh, come out of it, out, out of this loop because j is greater than 0, right? j is greater than 0. Now we come over here again to the outer loop. i will be 2 here. So we'll start j equal to uh, j equal to i that is j will be pointing here right j will be pointing here right so what it will be now this one this particular uh, this particular uh, uh, element will have r of j 0 plus r of j minus 1 right r of j plus r of j minus 1 r of j plus r of j minus 1 right 0 plus 1 it will give you 1 right 1 so here this indicates this one indicates this particular element right and then okay so this one is done right now j will decrement and j will be pointing towards this one right j will be here now r of j plus r of j minus 1 1 plus 1 2 right 2 so here we have built 2 right pascal yeah pass this uh, th second third row basically right and then j is greater than 0 so here will come out of this one right we won't go here 0 right uh, will come out of this now, right? Now, I will be 3. I will be 3, right? This 1 is already there, right? We, we need not do anything. This 1 is already there, right? 1, 2, 1. Now, I equal to 3. So, J will also be equal to 3. So, J will be pointing here, right? J will be pointing here, right? So, if we see J, what, what this statement will do? R of J 0 plus R of J minus 1, 1. So, here we'll have 1. So here, the third or the fourth row, right? One we have put, right? And then J will come here. J will come here. R of J plus R of J minus 1. 1 plus 2 equal to 3. So here we'll have 3, right? And then J will be here, right? 3, 2 plus 1. R of J plus R of J minus 1. 2 plus 1, 3. 3. We'll have 3 over here. And 1, we won't go further. J is greater than 0. We'll come out of this. And if N was equal to 4, right? So yes, our Pascal triangle is built, right? Our Pascal triangle is built using this array. 1, 3, 3, 1. This is the output. You have to return. Okay. So this is uh, this is the code. Let's quickly walk through the code. Uh, I have already uh, solved this. Let me copy this. Solved some time ago only. Okay, so yes, here is the code. Okay, so uh, yes, so as I said, we took n is the input, right? We took an array of long, right? Uh, of n elements and r of 0, we have done 1, right? And now here are for loop starts, right? For loop starts, I have explained this code, right? Only the thing is we have to uh, as as the output as the output will be very large elements will be very large so we have to just do more of uh, this 10 to power 9 plus 7 right so we are, we are doing this right here we are doing this simply and then we are just collecting into uh, into the list array list and we are returning it right so c++ code also will, will be almost same okay it will not instead of array list will have vector so not much difference right so let's submit this
yes the solution is accepted and also we are adhering to the time complexity right o of n square right here we are having o of n square again right and uh, space complexity is n square but here we have optimized right we have we are using only o of n okay we are just using o of n okay so yes this is a solution i hope you have got the solution uh, thanks for watching the video and please like the video and subscribe to my channel it will motivate me uh, to create such solution for you thank you so much